Hello, my name is Sandra Patron and I am the director of CRPC Museum of Contemporary Art in Bordeaux, France. And I am also the curator of My Body is Not an Island, an exhibition of Eva Kotatkova in both places, first in Bordeaux and then now in National Gallery in Prague. Hello, Eva. Hello. <laughs> so nice to, to see you again in nice this, to uh, see you. Yeah, in this uh, exhibition. So this exhibition, My Body is Not an Island, was previously shown in CRPC Museum of Contemporary Art uh, in Bordeaux. And actually, it was conceived uh, for the space uh, of the nave. Maybe we can start uh, and you can tell us what was the point of departure of uh, this project, how, yeah, it was conceived for you. Mm -hmm. So as you said, it was originally conceived for a CAPC, the exhibition space in, in, in Bordeaux, and and uh, it um, uh, reacted very much on the history of the space, mm. which, which used to be a, a storage of colonial goods, uh, a, a place where uh, where many um, uh, goods were being temporarily stored and then mm. distributed somewhere else. Uh, and uh, I started to think about uh, about uh, the I idea of a storage uh, as not only a storage of, of uh, mute objects mm. uh, or objects in general, but, but a storage of or temporary station for different types of uh, bodies, but also their stories. So this was the, 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 the kind of departure to, 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 to think about uh, what does it mean to to uh, to store something? Uh, because uh, the, the usual process is that uh, when, uh, for example, the goods or, or objects are entering uh, a storage or an, an institution, or, uh, they are being diagnosed, they are being measured mm. differently and and, and, and classified and mm -hmm. classified mm. exactly. And and uh, this is what is also happening with our bodies. So mm. so somehow this metaphor. Uh, applied on the on the living creatures, either human beings or more than human beings, like animals or plants, came to to my mind, and then I worked on it uh, yeah. deeper uh, through the process of of the show creation. Yeah, this is um, uh, a key element of your practice, uh, um, considering you know how our uh, intimate bodies are oppressed in a way by uh, the rules of a society. Previously uh, in your work, uh, the question of education and how education can be uh, an alienation, but also can be an emancipation uh, is, uh, was a key element uh, of uh, your work. Um, so in this uh, installation, you decided to, in a way, put alive uh, different voices uh, voices of human beings, voices of animals, which uh, um, can, which are alienated in the society. Mm. Can you can you tell us more about these different voices mm -hmm. appearing in the exhibition? So basically, the idea uh, of of the exhibition and of the installation, also physical installation in the space, was to create a kind of collective body. So, mm. so a body composed from other bodies and, and stories and, and segments of these or fragments of these bodies that constitute one collective body that can still be altered or changed. Uh, it, it's not something fixed, but rather something breathing and very much alive and something that you can you can still add elements, mm. which is actually also ha happening. That like I, I, I would think that this with every new <laughs> installment, may, maybe there will be some some new additions, maybe new stories mm. added and, mm. and so on. And uh, I, 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 I thought since the very beginning very much about like, what, what does it mean to uh, speak for someone or something, something mm. like how also with all the, all the difficulties um, or controversy this, this brings, because in, in some cases, I'm giving, given, I'm giving space for others to speak, but then you have the more than human uh, mm. uh, inhabitants or, or, or creatures uh, um, who uh, cannot speak for themselves, or at least not in the way that we are used mm. to understand. Mm -hmm. And so are we entitled to speak for them and in what language? And like, are we really able to, to, to connect so well that, that, we, that we know what's, mm. what's, what's the best for them? Uh, but I, I, I still, with, with this controversy and difficulty in, in, in my head, I think I was picking stories that 
talk about the very like visible oppression and the visible violence towards these bodies. So, so something that we can probably uh, agree on that it's 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 wrong what we do to the to the modern human world. And some of some of these stories are fictional, uh, totally invented, and some of them are uh, real, taken mm -hmm. from. Uh, some meetings you have had with people or taken from a uh, newspaper. How, how for you was it important to have uh, half fictional, half real elements in the, in the installation? Mm. Yeah, so I'm, a, as you know already, I'm a passionate collector of stories, mm. also partly a creator of stories, but then I integrate them so uh, not so well, but I hide them somehow in the pile of the stories mm. that you actually don't know which 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 are real. Some, some, sometimes you can guess more obviously, sometimes not uh, which are real. But then again, what, what what does it mean that there are some real and some fictional ones? But uh, and and which I which are my my own stories and which are as you said the stories that I I really directly or yeah. literally cut out of the newspapers and then I store them, I collect them for, for later use. Uh, and, and basically the, the, the result is, is, is a collage of, of these stories of voices and what unifies them is always the team. So in this case, the, the unifying motive or team uh, or, or headline or storyline was, was the or different types of normativity and oppression towards mm. our bodies in, 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 in a very broad sense. Mm. Maybe for the audience, can you give us two or three examples of, mm. of the stories that we, we will hear in the space? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's hard to pick f f a few, but, mm. but uh, also it's important to say that they don't have like a chronology or, or hierarchy between them. Yeah. It's really like a collection of stories and you can start uh, somewhere and then connected with a different story. But next time, if you would come mm. more times to the, to the exhibition, you can compose the storytelling line completely differently. So, so this is always on the, on the visitor, but to just uh, emphasize uh, a few stories. So there is, for example, a story we spoke about education and how, how it can be both uh, uh, emancipatory or transformative, but also oppressive or, or mm. limiting. So there is a story of a child uh, who, um, uh, it's, the story is called uh, a story of a body which didn't grow yet. Mm. Uh, so uh, this child is uh, sharing a story of um, her or his uh, growing up uh, and, and traveling through different normative or diagnostical mm. institutions and speaks about how the body and the mind was being uh, measured and labeled and, and, and how uh, she, she or, or him was, was told uh, or labeled as unfitting or, or different. Then there is a story of, of, uh, of a tree or a bush mm. which is being transported from some mm, unknown faraway island and is being cut into pieces because of practicality of the of the of the storage and of the transport uh, and th th there are also other stories that speak more about uh, collective bodies bodies on the journey bodies on the move mm. or bodies in transition or also uh, uh, or uh, night workers or night workers so so a, a collective of people who are forced by their living uh, circumstances to uh, and conditions to work overnight while we are sleeping mm. so that they actually allow us to, to to sleep while they have to do a very difficult night night job and they speak for example about about sleeping um, uh, while standing mm. during of, of or, or, or about dreaming uh, about work when they are they are falling asleep so the work is somehow like also um, uh, infiltrating into their dreams which mm. which then becomes very very um, exhausting and 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 dark actually and all this story um, will be heard by the audience in this fish head where we are standing for now um, and then it will put us in another key element of the installation uh, which is uh, the sound piece so you invite two sound composer to um, uh, to create uh, a sound piece, which is both um, a sound piece, which is an ambience uh, in the wall installation, uh, but also uh, this collection of stories that mm -hmm. you were uh, talking about. How did you work with them? What uh, what did you ask for for them? 
So it was people, uh, a group of people that I knew from before, from a uh, previous collaboration, and I felt that we can mm. very well relate through the teams that, that we touch in, in our uh, different practices. And, and it's, uh, it, 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 it's Maria Čtveráčková, um, Martin Hula and Ursula Šeregi, who uh, created different parts of the, of the sound landscape for, for this installation. And uh, it actually also functions as a, as a puzzle, as a um, sound or mm. collage. Uh, so what one is the, is the voices, the stories that, that, that you hear in the fish head mainly. So this is a kind of central zone for the, for the storytelling. And then you, you have different type of uh, sounds, but also musical compositions that uh, resemble um, uh, sounds of the body, both of the interior, but also, also the exterior. So for example, of a, of a fish uh, thrown on the shore uh, and uh, the sounds of breathing in and out and, 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 and or exhausted body and, and, and so on, but also some uh, slight sounds of, of, of machines or more rhythmical sounds and, and so on. So uh, I, I, they, they, they got quite quite a lot of uh, freedom. It wasn't right. so, something that, that we would be developing like very closely together, but rather discussing the, the stories and the, and the themes uh, and just finding a way that we can we can uh, mm -hmm. all uh, function on the same mode or, or mm. uh, relate th this yeah. way. And it really puts you in a kind of uh, live environment. You know, this sound piece really creates um, a, a way to experience uh, the uh, installation as a wall, also as a as a landscape. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I could say, and this put me uh, to another living element, uh, which is the audience, the audience, uh, and how they can activate, even in a mental uh, mental way. Uh, this landscape mm. um, and one of the reasons I have to confess you after three years of work together one of the reasons why I inv invited you uh, at uh, CAPC it was uh, because I I really wanted to send a message to the audience of CAPC telling that uh, exhibition and art is not a dead body but mm. it's uh, it's living element where they are not obliged uh, to be passive, but they can be active with their dreams, with their actions. And, and for me, it was really a gift uh, mm -hmm. to welcome you in the space because, of course, your practice as a whole deals with, uh, uh, with that. Um, so how, what do you expect, in a way, for uh, the engines to, to enter in the, in the space? So thank, first of all, thank you very much for this, for this, for this trust, mm. because this is exactly what I'm trying to achieve with my work, mm. not always succeeding. So it's a kind of um, journey always, or a kind of experiment. And you, of course, always are, um, experience different um, obstacles on the mm. way, either in relation to the institution rules, which of course there, there, there has to of be course. certain limits or, or, or um, uh, order how to how to function or move as an institution and so on. Uh, so so uh, I think there are two, 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 two uh, important aspects of, mm. of what you just said. One is the inclusivity and um, of, 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 of the exhibition. So so the the uh, the focus on on uh, installation, which is uh, more open, more not not so much frozen, not so much fixed. Of course, there are elements that you cannot move because they are too heavy or they are they would be dangerous to mm. to handle or to to touch. But that but the majority of 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 the of the works are really to be uh, interacted with differently. So 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 they either offer you offer you to uh, to um, lie down or sit down. Mm. This is the the zone to do that, mm. where we are just uh, positioned. Uh, or you just walk around and you, you are you are you are most more passive because you enjoy to to perceive the the exhibition with with your senses eyes or 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 the or the sound which is like equally important here i think it's not it's yeah. not it's not that there will be one more important than the other but i, I was trying to like balance them as much as, as as possible you have a lot of things for reading if you if you are more into into storytelling line so uh, for, for me the layering of the information or of the of the motives or mm. the emotions is extremely important and, and through this trying to achieve the, the bigger accessibility or openness or um, or friendliness of the of the mm. of, of the uh, exhibition and the other aspect which I we didn't speak 
about before is the imagination, which which I think we spoke about uh, the the more uh, normative. Uh, elements that appear in the stories, but I, I, I would be hoping that the stories are not just describing the mm. difficulties or the limits or the, or the borders, but they are actually also uh, functioning as imposes for us to think otherwise. So to, 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 to uh, also bring stories that, that uh, are outside of the official narrative and that, that show us the world differently and that also make us dream mm -hmm. a bit more about what's possible, like if we do that and that, of course, but yeah, yeah because it's it's playing, I think it's playing with um, uh, the oppressivity of, of the society, but also with authoritarianism of contemporary art in a way. And it really mm. breaks uh, some rules of what you can, how you can feel and live in a, in a contemporary art uh, uh, exhibition. So thank you, thank you for that. Um, but maybe we can discuss um, about the fish, because we didn't. Um, so one of the key elements of the in installation is this kind of uh, gigantic uh, fish cut into, into parts and where uh, um, a body of different elements, crates and, and costumes um, are like escaping from, from this uh, uh, fish body. Mm. Um, I was curious about this motif of the fish, which happens, uh, appears a lot in your, mm. in your practice. Uh, why the fish mm -hmm. is interesting you more than another animal? Mm. Yeah, so there, there are different reasons. Uh, one of them would be that, that uh, I think it's an animal that is very often not considered as a, as a meaningful animal mm. like or, or, or an um, animal that we would take into account when also talking about emotions or, 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 or feelings or, 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 or pain and, mm. and so on. Uh, very often also like people people ask you uh, if you don't eat meat, like if you <laughs> if you actually eat fish somehow is uh, uh, an animal which is considered somewhere in between right. zone or you don't or have empathy e exa exactly mm. which which i i'm curious uh, to uh, to explore more wh wh why is that mm. uh, and and uh, at the same time it can be um, seen as, as a metaphor so basically this is not a at least for me, this is not a fish, like any, any kind of fish, but it's a fish which finds itself in a very difficult situation for itself. So it's a fish which is thrown on the shore and mm. then, then which seems to be a um, very uh, difficult um, or almost like a final situation to be in. And then, 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 then this is the time for, uh, for um, imagination for me, of course, mm. like, like a hypothetical imagination, like what, 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 what you can do if you, are, if you find yourself in, a, in such a, a fatal situation. So you either adapt to the circumstances of the society around you, you, you fit into the norm, or you somehow fight against, or you, you, you are destined to uh, resign. Like the, 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 there is a scale of possibilities mm. to to, to go if you have energy to still still, still breathe of course so there was this metaphor of the of the body uh, which yeah finds itself in a very uh, complicated situation and has to has to decide um, yeah, and th then of course there is this image of a of a of a fish which opens its belly uh, mm. and gives us uh, a testimony of the society. So also uh, a fish body that brings uh, brings different uh, proofs or, or um, elements that tell us about how how we live, what is the what is the system and the society that we are constructing mm. through different objects, but also the stories and bad bodies and so on. Okay, nice, and maybe. Maybe uh, we could discuss about the materiality mm -hmm. of the installation, which is quite diverse, but we can find some materials that you often use. Mm -hmm. uh, I am thinking about uh, metal, like very cold, uh, hard uh, um, materials, and all the softness uh, with the costumes, uh, with the blankets, and uh, also the, the color, which are very soft. Can mm. you tell me more about this kind of friction uh, in, in the different material you use in your practice? 
Yeah, I'm now looking around counting how many <laughs> materials right. we actually used. But yeah, as, as you said, the, the metal the structures is something that I've been doing mm. for some years or, already. And before I see they would be more dominant and also more visible. So I wouldn't hide them underneath textiles mm. at all. It would be more about uh, bringing drawings into into 3D and, mm. and, and, and through this somehow uh, talking about the different oppressive uh, uh, systems around us or within us through the metal structures or, or metal, mm. metal schemes. And, and uh, lately, maybe in the past three, four years, maybe almost five, I, I'm experimenting more with, with textile, which, which is kind of a new, new material for me before I would use it sometimes uh, in the form of te uh, used uh, textiles, so like like jackets or because very often I use also my personal belongings or, or my family uh, members' belongings uh, uh, in the, uh, that I bring into the installation. But now I am actually creating something out of textile. Uh, and, and for me, the, the textile allows for more flexible uh, Open, open, open structure to provide to the visitors. So something that you can really alter or change which, or, 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 or almost like sculpt with your body. You can bec become more easily part of it and, and it's not so rigidly, uh, rigidly fixed. This is a combination between the two. Mm. So I think you can, you, can see, you can see both of it, the, the fish head that we are now sitting in, which is like part, partly covered, but as if you would have the fish head which, which, which has some uh, uh, layers of the skin uh, right. visible, but then some were already removed because maybe it, it was on mm. the shore for too too long. But then we have these these other elements like the enlarged uh, uh, shirt on the floor, which creates a kind of different uh, textile landscape to mm. to to inhabit. Uh, and then another element is the costumes that have human uh, size, but they are using uh, more uh, animal and and uh, plant and other vegetal uh, elements so 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 they allow you to become uh, mm. someone or something else and they are also a combination of different type of textiles but also used personal belongings like old jackets this, this, this question of the costume as um, as a layer of skin mm. in a way as a, a kind of porosity between the inside uh, body and the external world is quite uh, interesting, I think, and and really developed uh, in this uh, installation. And then this costume will be activated mm -hmm. by performers. Perhaps we we can end the discussion by evoking what will happen uh, every weekends. Every weekend, every I, weekend. I'm not mistaken. It should be every Saturday mm -hmm. plus few extra days. And uh, so, yeah, as you say, the, 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 not all of the costumes, but the majority of the costumes will be activated. Mm. So they will be brought into, into life uh, by, by uh, performers. Uh, there will be always three at one time and they will, they will share the stories that you usually hear uh, through the audio. So this time it will be live uh, and uh, they will uh, they will either be able to hide underneath some costumes because some costumes really um, uh, almost consume the, the right. human body in them. So you just see some little body parts mm. and you really become some, something else like a, like a moving uh, creature. Uh, or, or on the contrary, they will be, they will be more, more visi visible with their human features and they will have fish fins or other additions from other, other species. Mm. And they will change of costumes, that means they will change of, of skins, like if they, they are snakes or, you know, and, and even, even then they are moving bodies uh, going from mm. one story to, mm. to, uh, uh, to another. Maybe it's actually good to mention one story that you actually also talk about in the introduction mm. text to the exhibition, which is a story uh, of a body which dreams about having more skins, mm. which is quite interesting uh, idea because it can be something that helps you to really fit in. Because then, for example, you have uh, you, you go for a work interview or you go to school mm. or you have um, I don't mm. know a date or <laughs> something like that, and you always need to. Uh, not only look, but also behave differently and, uh, and follow what the, 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 the surrounding is expecting from you. you. I mean, you don't have to, but like in, uh, if, if you want to succeed, uh, if yeah. you want to, uh, want to really like uh, very smoothly fit in the situation and the context you are in, uh, mo the majority of people uh, who do that. Uh, 
but it can also speak and the, and the story is, is um, composed like that. It can also speak about the, about the, the, the pressure to, do, to yeah. do that, like yeah. how difficult it is to always switch between the identities and the skins that we, we are forced to carry or to put on like costumes or jackets. Thank you very much, Eva. Thank you. <laughs>